Hello everyone, I'm a Rainbow, and I'm going to tell you about a new game that I've started playing called Pioneer Endless Journey. Yes, I know that name does nothing to draw you in, but the game has me hooked. It's available in the App Lab and on SideQuest. I've got links in the description. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the game and then hit some tips that might help you out. I've already died a bunch, so maybe you won't have to. The look of the game drew me in, but the gameplay has me hooked. It is a lot of fun and I haven't managed to beat the Scorpion boss yet. This game has a cartoony steampunk western vibe that makes it very unique for me. You have to fight your way through a horde of critters on floating islands with a customized pistol and different orbs. It's never the same run twice and seems to get progressively more difficult. How you customize your gun will affect how you play. The gun is made up of four parts, the barrel, crystal, grip, and sight. How you combine them determines what type of weapon you'll have. There's a lot of choices. Some work much better than others. The gun can fire different rounds with different effects depending on how you combine them. These affect everything from the number of bullets you can fire to how many hit points you have. Think of the orbs like grenades, each with a different effect. You only get one to use at a time though. You take a gyrocopter between each island picking your route. Some of the islands just have regular critters, some have minor bosses, and some have gun depots. When you kill a critter, you get its cogs. You need cogs to buy upgrades for your gun. You start off with 100 health and 60 shield. Shield will replenish itself, your health will not. However, it's possible to increase both with gun parts. Now that's the game in a nutshell. If you're interested, I've got some tips that might help you out. Please take a second and hit that like button. I would certainly appreciate your support. You might also think about subscribing. I can use all the friends I can get and it'll encourage me to keep making videos. Tip number one, you want to build up a gun that does as much damage as possible has extra ammunition, and has a secondary effect that can help you against a lot of creatures. Electricity and freeze are both very effective. Number two, if you replace a piece of the gun, you lose the effect that it was giving you. Make sure you want to do that. Whenever you hover over a gun part, you'll see what you have on top and what the new piece gives you on the bottom. Number three, at the end of the island, you'll have the opportunity to upgrade one weapon piece for free. Three options will present themselves randomly, but you only get to pick one. You don't have to pick any. Number four, orbs definitely affect the way you play. Some orbs are defensive, some offensive. You'll need to adjust your play style to whatever they are. Number five, fire blooms are deadly. These have killed me more times than anything else. It's like a double mortar fire raining down on you. Their bombs have an area effect and are hard to see coming. Number six, I have found no place to save the game yet. Once you start, you don't have any option to save and come back later. There might be one after beating the big boss, but I have not managed to do that yet. However, you do keep any cogs you've collected, so you shouldn't have any trouble upgrading the next time you play. Number seven, the minor boss battles come in three waves. Once you kill the first, more materialize. Take advantage of any cover to protect yourself and give your shield a chance to heal. These fights are a lot of fun, but they're very hectic. I'd give you tips for beating the big boss Scorpion King, but I don't have any since I'm zero for three against the big guy. Maybe you can give me some tips. I can certainly use the helps. Hit me up in the comments. I'm a rainbow. Hope you guys enjoy it. Y'all be good. Bye-bye.